It's been four years since the show Salvage Dogs shot its last episode, but the series continues to win over new fans. Yeah, today one of the biggest fans is a 10-year-old from Missouri. He was in uh, Roanoke to uh, visit the Black Dog Salvage store, and senior reporter Joe DeShield tagged along to see what it was all about. The cars that pull into the Black Dog Salvage parking lot bring people from across the country. And among the most recent arrivals, 10-year-old Michael Gerber from Columbia, Missouri. What kind of stuff you collect? Uh, I have a broken instrument collection, a rock collection. Gerber has watched all 11 seasons and 143 episodes of Salvage Dogs. He's wanted to visit Black Dog Salvage for a while. And this week, his mother, Christy Thorinos, surprised him with an early birthday present. He came up and said, Michael, where have you always wanted to go? And Black Dog Salvage. And she said, OK, we're, we're, that's where we're going. Co-owner Mike Whiteside gave them a tour of the store and the shop where the Black Dog team creates many of the store's signature pieces. He was impressed with Gerber's knowledge of the series. I did it, and I can't remember it. So it was fun to get him his perspective, his fresh perspective on it. Gerber was impressed with all of the inventory. Surprised by like how much stuff there was. I wasn't expecting like this much. He only discovered the series a year ago, but his mother says she wasn't surprised it caught his attention. Michael's a very creative child and um, he likes working with his hands. He sees value in putting things together and taking care of things that are historical. Um, he likes a lot of those areas and he's, he's a bright boy, so I think he takes interest in uh, knowing how things work, knowing what uh, names you call certain objects from historical periods. And, um, you know, he, he sort of initiates that mostly on his own. Besides the pieces he recognized from episodes of Salvage Dogs, Michael found other treasures here he'd like to add to his collections. He'll be leaving most of them behind, taking just what he can pack into a suitcase for the flight home to Missouri. I'd like them to know that I really appreciate them making the show because, like, I really enjoy watching it. It's my favorite show. Just to see a, a 10 year old that has you know, a passion for the arts and for reuse. It's a matter of, of respecting the old and then carrying it to the future. And I think it's real secure with Michael. In Roanoke, Joe DeShield, WDBJ7.